most of my stuff has been in radio, but all the time I've been involved in commercial production, commercial copy. I've always tried to keep uh, a side gig going. Does anybody ever get writer's block? You go, I got to get this <laughs> assignment done. I got to... I gotta do it, and, and all this stuff is coming at me, and all the, you know, I'm thinking about all this, stuff, and you can't do anything. You, you end up being paralyzed. And what I would say is take all the stuff you know and learn as much as you can, but take that and just put it down in the background. Then you have a canvas up there. There's just this big blank canvas that is your ideas and the things that you wanna do with that canvas. So start to think of your ideas, and you might borrow from, hmm, here's something I learned in the persuasive copywriting class, or here's something I picked up in the, the VO class, or you know, here's, and you might take parts and pieces from that, but you don't have to do anything. There's no set way of doing it. So to prevent writer's block, see that big open canvas, and you're able to start painting on it with your ideas, so it doesn't, you're not answering to anybody. You're not trying to do anything the way it's supposed to be done. You can go any way you want, and you can use any of the tools that you have learned about in there. You tend to, you just, you go for all the tools that you have, and then you use those tools appropriately. There's a point to where you've done all you can do. If you do any more, you're gonna mess it up. You're gonna gunk it up. You're gonna add too much. Learn to be able to walk away from the canvas, you're done. Walk away. Uh, if you're too close to your work, you're not gonna be objective about whether, whether yours is good or anybody else is good or, or whatever, so don't get too close to it. Put your ideas out there. If people get it, they get it. If they don't, they don't. But I would say what's most important is keep your voice, keep your opinions, keep your things in there. Make it a part of you. That's what's going to make it original. That's what's going to make it better than, you know, somebody else who's just doing the same thing over, over and over. So you got to be careful. It's a balance. It's a balance when you're writing to not go too far over the top, but to go over the top enough to affect people's emotions. And honesty is a big part of that. As you're looking at elements that I have to put into my work, don't think of them as elements. Think of what your goal is and think of what your objective is. You know, keep on the objective. I, I tend to keep writing my objective at the top of the page because when you get involved in creative exercises, you start you know, just getting lost in it all. So keep that objective up there all the time. Start writing down what is in your head. I mean, even if it's gibberish, just put, put just don't think about refining the concept just get the whatever basic ideas are in there and then kind of analyze that and you'll do offshoots of that and then you'll maybe get a little more and believe me the more you work with an idea the more those we're not we're all combinations of ideas i mean nobody has an original idea we're all using combinations of other ideas that have already been thought of so as you begin to just put down the gibberish, put down the thought, put down whatever you, you can, can retrieve from that head, and, and then start working from there. A as you do this stuff, tap into your other sides. You know, you might be a macho guy, or you might be a real, you know, girly girl, or, or whatever, but tap into your other side so you you can relate to the those things and don't be afraid to do it again be who you are you can watch as many or listen to as many voice people or watch as many people doing this stuff and you can pick up stuff from them but be who you are keep your options open as you go into the radio business and the voice business keep your options 